Hey guys, back again for the next part. Um, well, this is now dry, um, and I have sorted through papers. Looks so good. I love it. So that takes a little bit to, for it to dry, but I love how it looks. I've actually gone through um, some of those new those books that I did for my, my book haul, um, and had a look for some really nice papers. Okay. So I'll show them to you. I found that one. That's going to go in, in my my journal of that more white lilies. I thought that was really nice. But I cut out some um, sort of pictures to do with trees and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know how many of them are going to get in the apple tree. Um, that's from, look at that, autumn leaves. Beautiful. So I might make some envelopes and especially for these growing ferns and all that kind of stuff um, and maybe fold them up and actually tuck, in, tuck them in an envelope as part of the journal because there's a few, a few of these. Um, this, this and this one I thought would probably be really nice to have as pages. So but this is so beautiful some of these pictures are just gorgeous that I can use in the book that one will probably make a good book page which I'll fold over and that one these ones are really good Montreal from the mountain there you go Debbie That's Montreal is part of Canada so that relates back to where the origins of the kit comes from um, gorgeous, just beautiful. Look at that. North Wales, so pretty. So some of these, I'm just gonna, I'll probably fold them in half um, and incorporate them. Probably most likely these ones because they're suited to that. So by the time you fold them in half, like this, gotta be so careful. And add that part of the book page. Now you have forest one side, forest the other. This one's even got beautiful deers in there. So pretty. So there you go. So that's what I'm going to be doing today is sorting through um, some of the papers, which I've got here. Um, cutting them up to size. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, thinking of making tags and all that, but I didn't realise, I, I re-looked the kit. Um, in the last one, I made up tags, whereas this one, she's got tags in the kit, which is really good. Um, so I won't be making tags. I'll probably be making tuck spots. I might use these as tuck spots. I think they might work well. So at least four tuck spots with those. Um, but there's quite a few tags, so I won't need to make any tags, but I may have to make some tuck spots, so that would probably sit in rather nicely. Um, and I might even make up some, get some Edith Holden and make up some envelopes to put some of those, like I said, some of these in there. I think that would look really nice. So there you have it. So what we've got to go through... Is I usually have two signatures, so I have that. Um, so that's a mountain ash. There we, go. there we go. I think these these three and these three. So there's sort of like a nut one, a cherry one, and a nut one, and then this is a nut. Um, and it's got um, things on there so they will work well together so that's signature one signature two then um, oh, these are just so beautiful um, I think that one there Definitely the Montreal one because it's part of um, 
might keep these for something else for myself can't give it all away and then have that there keep that one and then have that one so we've got two of the older ones hopefully you can see these going through so I've got four of these I might have one lady and one lady I really love these autumn leaves ones I might incorporate that into um, something else I've got in mind so okay so they got one of those each hopefully you guys can see you can probably see I'll do it this way okay I think that might be enough for those Slow place now. As for these fans, we make more about the trees. So, one tree, bit more of a tree, and then beautiful. She's definitely a tree, and that's a tree. So, we'll see how he goes with that with those ones. Um, I was thinking maybe having um, those in letters. Now, so how many have we got so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then I've got to add um, coffee dyed paper. So I'll just pause for a second I'll go and get that here we are back again so so what did I say seven is that right one two three four one two three four five six seven and um now we've got the centre page for each of these so one where's my other one that I picked got it here so that's seven and eight. That's the Edith Holden centre page. Then, so seven, eight, nine. Still might not do those. Definitely want to use these. So nine, ten, ten. Um, love that. 11. That's going to be one page, so I'll put that together. So 11. And then these are more shrubs and trees, so I'll keep those out. Keep that out. So 11. Then I've still got my little fairies to put in. Whether I just cut them out and have them as collage or have a couple of tree things I might do both so um, probably gonna have one two three because I have stuff in between so four one two three four and then one of these and then my little individual things in between I may have to cut some out I think so okay no we want definitely want I love this love that the ash tree so I know that there's definitely a cherry tree in there, so I'll keep that. Okay, 
and there's definitely a chestnut tree so I'll keep that may just have to sort through um, see they don't always line up see the silver birch song is with that one so um, silver birch fairy adler fairy that lines up sweet chestnut fairy so um, yeah they don't always line up so I might have a couple of pages that I can put in whichever these these ones and then the others I can I'll cut out and I'll put in as um, you know decorating I think I love this one I do want to use what I might do is cut rather than having the song cut it off and have two pictures so you've got four lots so I think that's what I might do okay so um, I'm gonna have to what you do next if you're going to be doing this yourself is you decide how big your pages are going to be so okay so coming in from here that's where the signatures go is about five so I'd probably make the pages maybe four and a half by seven so what we need to do is just go through all the papers and cut them all up so there we go probably need to sort through them um four and a half by seven so whether i fold go like that but then you're wasting it or um, okay so four and a half is it's a, gotta learn your math in this situation okay um, so four and a half by seven um, so four and a half and four and a half would be nine so it would be nine by seven that's how I would cut it there we go everything So what I'll do is I'll, I know that that's nine at the end of there. So, we, so we're actually saving some pieces. So definitely oh, go nine. Don't need to do that with all the paper beat bit more accurate with the other ones and seven so I'll just cut the top off here oh I could probably do another one because it, seven is enough here be so careful there we go okay Got my window open. My husband's singing away. It's um, Easter Friday tomorrow, so today's Thursday, and um, with our church, he he and I have been singing most of our life, and he's actually um, going to be singing and doing an item with the choir and all that kind of stuff in church. So that should be good. So he's busy practicing away. Okay, now, hmm, let's 
Seven might be a little high, I am thinking. Seven might be the size of the cover page. So I'm thinking maybe six and a half. Six and a half. Or just under seven. Like six and three quarters. I'll have a look, okay? first one is all about figuring out what size you need and then the rest are pretty easy. Oh, time is sticking in there like that. Yeah, that should be all right. That's good. Six and three quarters. There you go. So that's one. So is this. Super easy. Now that we've got nine. by six and three quarters so what you would do is you just go like this there nine by six and three quarters seem to cut properly so let's see if this works cut that in half so I'll just show you a couple of these and then I'll do these off camera and then come back that's the right size. Yep, there you go. So that's what you do with the rest of them. And then these are the bits that are really good for backing. Um, actually, if I want to write, where are we? Probably the perfect size to back my um, tags. So there you go. That'll be good. So I'll, I'll back them. And then I'll sew around the outside so that because this is quite shiny paper, so it definitely needs backing. Cool. There you go. This is how you can use everything. So I will either pause or stop it. Um maybe do that later. Actually, what we could probably do while well, I've got it there, just show you bits and pieces you can do for your homework. Where's my, oh well, I'll use this, where's my metal one, here somewhere, there it is, so I'll just put this on thicker, the thicker one. good which is what you want you don't want flimsy flimsy tags what I might do while it's like that I will um, I will cut I will stick the backing on and then cut it after the backings on there I think that would be a lot easier I think my husband's yelling out something, whether it's for me or my son, as it's school holidays at the moment. My son is home. Okay. And then you just get your little once it's once it's done, you get your little thing for that. I'll just show you how to do one. Not that you wouldn't know what to do, but always nice doing things together. Okay, I quite like that. Now, 
need some. Okay, here's that leftover backing piece, which I think is almost perfect. So I get a bit of glue. I can probably get enough of those to do the backing of this as well as um, doing a card all my tags all my cards Oops. Once you sew that down, it'll be all good. And then I usually have the backing paper to do a card. Lift that up just a tad. Let's just put that through. Could have fitted it on there. Ah, I can still fit it on there. There we go. One one thing and one card because I'm always having to back these cards. Me being the cheapskate. Oh, I think I ordered over a thousand of these, so I've got so many of these left. I might as well use them. Okay. There we go. Make a big mess. I reckon I just cut some of that off the edge, that'll be all good. end and just so it matches a tad off that end there we go you never know would you now this one okay you can hear him singing away you probably won't be able to hear that but I can hear it Ugh. Sew around there. And then get the hole punch. Awesome. There you go. Simple as that. I like these. I love these tags. They're awesome. Saves me having to do those. That's what I really like about DigiKits. You've, um, they... They're pretty practical and people think of everything. Okay, get my little in there. So I might get some really nice sari silk or something and just put that along there. So this one is about making up your tags. Now, this will look. I reckon I've got some other sari silk, which is probably going to do with the trick. I bought some new stuff. Ah, ha, ha, ha. From that awesome haul, I reckon. I like this. This one. See if I can get to some of that greeny colour. Yes. Okay. Um, love the way it gets all variegated. Sort of sort of like a greeny yellowy colour. Go through there. And that'll go through there like that. Which I'll end up taking out because I've got to sew it. <laughs> there we go. Cool. How beautiful is that? So there you go. 
that's how easy it is to do the tags that are in the kit as long as you get it printed off on thicker thicker cardstock well on here I'll I'll do that and then I'll make myself a little little pocket to put in the front put that in and then leave a message okay so in the next video I'll have my papers all organized and hopefully um, put in maybe even the all the tags made up so they um, I'll have that and then I'll maybe make the envelopes and the tuck spots in the next one I think that is what I'll probably do um, so I'll turn the camera off and continue with the papers and this and um, I will see you in the next one um, I can't wait to the collaging expert I really love so I'll be cutting out the little fairies and putting in some some fabrics and all that um, when, once the book is together I really enjoy that okay I'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching guys bye